you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I created this look just here. It's like a halo eye, sort of warm toned brown. Um, I've got some gold in there. I've got lots of highlighter on, lots of bronzer. If you want to see how I created this look, then please just keep on watching. I'm doing my brows now. I'm going to skip through this thing and I'm going to do an eyebrow tutorial video if you'd like to see that, let me know. I'm going to use yeah, my Freedom Eyebrow Pomade and Benefit Give Me Round to set it all in place. I'll do that off camera and then I'll be right back. I'm back, as you can see I did my brows and I cleaned them up using the Benefit Boing Concealer. I literally love this stuff, the new product of it looks amazing, I really need to give that a try. Um, but anyway, first to do that, I'm going to use the Boing Concealer again just to um, prime my eyes. So, to set that in place, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Mat. Actually, I watched something yesterday, I think it was Holly Boone's video, and she said not to rub it, not just wipe it, to push it in. So, I'm going to sort the brush out and use a round one of this. Move on to eyeshadow. I literally don't know what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to cut crease obviously because I've already done a cut crease look. If you haven't watched that, I will link that down below for you to watch. I think first I'm going to take this shade. If you know me, you know this is my favourite palette. Um, and obviously this is one of my favourite shades considering it's all gone. So I'm just going to take that. Just yeah, I also wanted to, to apologise for not posting a video yesterday because I was travelling back up to London because I was at home with my family for the weekend. So I did that and that meant that I also missed Friday's blog post and Monday's blog post. Not ideal, but it's all good. I'm going to do one eye first, even though I've just started doing one eye. One eye first, and then find out what I'm going to do, and I'll come back. Yeah, I'm going to do that. A proper little YouTuber. Hi guys, so I'm back, and as you can see, I did one eye. So, it's like a bronzed, kind of halo eye, a bit of gold. You know what I mean. I'm now going to do this on this eye. Okay, so to start, as you saw, I used the Makeup Revolution palette and this shade just here as my transition shade, so I'm going to do that again. I'm focusing this product on the outer corner as well to kind of get the depth there. Likewise on the inner corner as well. So the next shade that I used <clears throat> was my bronzer, so I used my Hula Bronzer by Benefit just in the crease as well, it's kind of like cooled down the tone of that one, so this was more pinky whereas this was more brown, so this kind of helped me do that, make it more of a brown shade than a Just 
deepen it up ever so slightly that I went into this palette, this is an old one, but this is the Freedom Pro 32 Eye Collection Palette, or the Innocent Collection Palette. And I just used this like, rusty red shade, orangey shade in the bottom. They don't have late names, unfortunately. So just go with rusty red, something like that. And I'm just going to put this in the outer and the inner corners and then bring it up in the crease just above where the shimmery colour will go on my lid. So just there. All the um, shimmery colour. So now we're using this palette, which is the Sleek Eau Natural 601 Mineral Based Eye Divine Eyeshadow Palette. And then I'm going to use shade Taupe, just there in the corner. So I'm going to use this shade. So first, I'm going to take that on my little finger little finger, ring finger, so I can get loads of product and loads of pigment. There. I'm just going to place that right in the middle. Go back between the two just to make sure that they're the same. Pigments the same on both sides. Like that, and then I will just take a tiny brush, just this little flat brush. Last little bit that I did I was take just this pinky kind of purpley sparkly colour just here and I use that and just put it on the outermost core outer part of the gold just to diffuse it back into the orange. And there we go. Finish the eyes, the alpha hair for the eyes. So I am just gonna go off camera now, mascara, eyelashes, and I'll be right back to do the rest of the face with you. Hi guys, so I'm back and I have put on my eyelashes and mascara and everything. And yeah, I like these eyes, I'm quite happy with them. Nice and warm, which I like, and quite easy, glam. I know I said it's gonna be glam, but like, kind of is, but you could wear it on a daily basis as well, you know, a bit of everything, you could wear it out, you could wear it on the day, day to day, whatever you like. So, but I'm going to move on to my face now. Do that, same as before, I'm using the Nivea Post Shape Balm. So I'm going to use this, this is my favourite at the moment, favourite thing to wear to for my foundation. It's the Sleek Makeup Bare, Bare Kissed Illuminator in Monaco. So it's just this one. This one is currently running out. But luckily for me, I have a new one. I'm not going to use it just yet because I know I can still get some stuff out of this one. Just. Alright, so I like to apply this with my Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender is this one, another Real Techniques one. I don't know why it's so much because the shape is different to the original beauty blender but it's also got like it's like this little handle it's easier to hold but not just that obviously but 
but um, no, I just really like this beauty blender. Also, so friggin' soft. Now on to my foundation. So uh, at the moment I'm using this Marcel BB Cream Golden Glow because I have kind of got a slight tan, not really, but slightly. And I also need to get some new foundation. So this one mixed in with ah, my Miss Sporty Really Me Second Skin Effect Foundation Stick. So. Tell you what I really want to try out is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. Oh my god, how insane does that look? But more importantly, how ridiculously expensive is it? But let's be real. Concealer. I'm going to use the Collection Last Imperfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in the shade Fair One. As always, as everyone else does, I'm going to place this triangular motion. I like this because it's quite pinky. Like, I feel like it's quite pinky undershoned, so then I can really cover up my bags because I have such a problem covering my bags and like con um, concealers and foundations and things. Is anybody else? I feel like that might just be me, but let me know any full coverage concealers, like drugstore, that you think would be good for that. Also, kind of cream for me today, using this palette, it's just literally just one from Amazon, not gonna lie, just one like this, but I actually really like it, so I'm gonna use just a flat brush like this one to Try many cream contour um, products, you know. So, if you could want to let me know any good products, that would be great. Because, I, yeah, I do really want to try the Benefit, um, what is it, the Hula Quickie Stick? That looks insane. This is tragic. One thing I just remembered about this concealer is that it dries rather quickly. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to help blend. a little round brush from earlier, just this one, to blend out this. So to set, <clears throat> all in place, I'm going to use my stay mat again, I'm going to make it translucent powder, so as I think I've said so in my other video, just run across the top like this. I'm going to take credit for that because I definitely probably copied that from somebody else. But just so you know how to do it. I'm just going to leave that on there for a little bit 
going to set the rest of my face. So to do that, I'm going to use just this big fluffy brush and obviously the same powder once again. Right, so I think while I leave that nose contour that I'm going to do the rest of my eyes. So to finish that off I think I'm literally going to take my transition colour which was this shade from the Makeup Revolution palette. Just this one. That's all I'm going to do to be honest. And all that's left to do is mascara for the bottom lash line. So I'm going to use same as I used on my top, which was the number seven lash impact intense and volume mascara. I um, have recently started bending my mascara ones. I think they fit nicer in the eye. So back to the face. We're going to bronze it up using. My Benefit Hula Bronzer. Yeah, Benefit Hula Bronzer to so warm up the face and set that in contour. Interested in doing testing videos and like testing different brand videos, so. Let me know down below if you would be up for watching those because I'm really fancy testing out loads of different brands of makeup. I think who I really want to try is W7. I've heard good and bad things from them, so well, from their about their products, so I really want to try those. Um, who else? Just let me know if you'd be interested in watching those videos, and if so, who would you like? Or what brands would you like me to test out? Maybe New Luck, Primark, people like that, even with Sky and Death Makeup, don't they, I think? And Boohoo, so I think they do. Uh, yeah, so just let me know. But back to my nose quickly, I'm just going to get rid of that contour. So I'm just going to take a round brush and kind of pat it to get it off. We'll put a little bit of bronzer though of that with the same fluffy brush as I used earlier. Bronzer isn't as much as I would like it though, so I'm just going to add a bit more. So, I'm never know whether to contour as well as cream contour and bronze, do you know what I mean? But I think I am going to, just with a fan brush, a tiny little bit of my sleek contour kit. So I just use this dark powder. I did say this was glam, so a bronze face is quite glam. And a lot of highlighter, which we will apply in a second. I literally just take a tiny little bit of this. And go especially this product is so pigmented go back over with this brush just to tone that down a little bit it's so pigmented I swear this stuff could last forever I swear because it's so pigmented I'm just going to get a little bit less than I did before I'm liking the face, I'm liking it. On to my favourite part. This is the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette in Solstice. This is honestly my favourite palette, highlighting palette of all time. And it is drugstore. What more could a girl want? To be fair, it's like £10. But that's not as expensive as it could be. So, 
Taking a little fan brush, I'm going to mix the bottom two shades together. And then... brush on just to mix these two together. I don't really like brush blush so I'm going to just take this um, shade called Chantilly from the Blush by 3 palette by Sleek on this angled brush just to teach really hope you can see that glow because this palette is my life. The last bit is the lips. I found this which is a Makeup Gallery Pout Matters in matte lip colour and obviously yeah it's from Poundland but it genuinely reminds me of the NYX Soft, Soft Lip Creams, is that right? And it is such a nice colour, see if I can show you. Like, see how like, I don't know if you can tell how soft that is but it's so soft and creamy and it smells so good so at the moment I have been loving this as a nude lip nice. so yeah I'm gonna use this So yeah, it's just such a like cool nude. But I feel like it goes with everything, like every look, everything. However, it's Poundland, so I'm not saying it's the best liquid lipstick out there, and I'm not saying it's gonna last forever because it doesn't last forever. Pretty much, pretty much comes off after you eat. But for the purpose of this video, and because this is the one that I've got, and because this is the one that I like. I'm gonna use it. So, this is the final face. I'm just gonna touch up my hair a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm late to the game. I do not have a setting spray or a fixing spray or anything like that. However, I saw, um, I watched Imogen's video the other day about her like, beauty hacks and things. So if you go over to that, watch the hack and you'll know which trick I'm gonna test as a fixing spray, as like a setting spray. So go over to her, that video and watch it and you'll see which one I'm going to test but as for today I'm going to leave it without any setting spray until I get those products to make that um, fixing spray just going to fix my hair and I'll be right back Hi guys, so I'm back and this is the finished makeup and hair um, I'm not going to lie to you, my hair is not in the best condition at the moment so putting it back like this was perfect but yeah, hoops are extra AF but I love it so let me know what you thought about it in the comments below um, like subscribe all of that jazz if you would like to see more videos from me and yeah